Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about uh, how to classify caries risk patients. Uh, it's classified into low caries risk, moderate caries risk, high caries risk patients. Okay, today we're going to talk in details about how should I classify high caries risk patients. First of all, we're going to classify uh, these patients according to health, special health care needs. Okay, their special health care needs. For example, children with low birth weight uh, have a congenital uh, heart disease. So those children are, uh, uh, are uh, considered high care risk. Patients with uh, chron uh, with chronic diseases okay like diabetes are so are also considered high care risk uh, transmissible patients with transmissible uh, diseases from mother to child okay could be high care risk patients with zero stomia also low social patients with low socioeconomic status and patients with low fluoride therapy they don't brush their teeth they don't uh, use mouthwash so they are considered a high care risk poor dietary habits they don't eat healthy food okay We're containing fibers uh, also frequent snacks reduces the pH so this leads to increase in caries production uh, patients with active lesions also are uh, at high risk of caries production.